getting out of Narita Airport actually isn't that hard. I thought it would be quite a bit harder than it was, but really you just have to get down to where the buses are. Uh, I was on Terminal 1. I'm not sure if you're on one of the other terminals how you would do this, but from Terminal 1, it's pretty easy just to roll your bike with your bike bag and the cart all the way to the area where the buses are. Get your bike assembled. There's actually quite a bit of room off to the side where you know nobody was bothering me. There was actually even a bench so I could just sit there, assemble the bike, and uh, get it ready, take as much time as I wanted, and I did take quite a bit of time. It took me like, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes to get the bike finally assembled. And anyway, when you got when you get the bike assembled, just uh, kind of head out left. And of course, remember in Japan, the cars drive on the left-hand side, but anyway, head out to the left and just follow that street around, and eventually you're going to come to a light, uh, an intersection, and take a left at that intersection, you just follow that street way, way, way down, and then eventually you'll pass some strange like fence, which is a gate of sorts. And at that gate, I think at that point you're actually out of the airport and you're kind of in sort of a town after that. There's like some convenience stores and a couple other things. And you just follow that street. The only thing that gave me a little bit of trouble exiting the airport was when I... I was trying to go to 295 because I needed to go to 295, which then like turned into 208. I had to go over another interstate, like with the main road I was on, I actually went up and over. And at that time, when you're going over the other road, or maybe it's not an interstate, but uh, the other road, um, you're like on a, it's like on a bridge, of, you know, sort of, and it gets kind of narrow and it feels a little bit dangerous. You'll see in the video where I like, kind of crossing the street and it feels like the cars are going by pretty fast. Maybe there's a better way to do that than the way I did it, but uh, the way I did it works and I was off to the side. Nobody had a problem with me doing that, so uh, I was able to get out that way. And this is kind of all heading northwest. If you do need to go the other way, like east, I'm not really sure how you can do that because it looks like you'd have to go immediately t into a tunnel uh, if you tried to exit towards the east of the airport. Maybe a better idea would be to, I'm not sure, but maybe it would be better if to uh, go, you know, to the left, um, northwest, and then, like, circle around either north or south of the airport and go around it. Not really sure, but anyway, you can just kind of watch this uh, almost raw footage. Well, I did speed a couple sections up and uh, took out a couple really boring pieces, but I think with this video you can get an idea of how I left the airport. It was pretty easy. If you have any questions about it or anything like that, just uh, leave a comment or send me an email or whatever, and uh, I'll help you out as much as I can. I hope this helps somebody, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.